Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at the Muirhead Decade Resistance unit here. Muirhead made a number of these uh, Decade Resistance boxes during the 50s and 60s and this particular unit is a, a three channel Decade Resistance box covering hundreds, tens and units of ohms. The company Muirhead was founded way back in 1904 and specialised in telecommunications equipment and in fact uh, most of the precision uh, test uh, equipment that they manufactured were related to the telecommunications side of their business. In the uh, beginning of the 1960s they started producing some precision uh, test instruments including things like this uh, decade resistance box, they also produce decade capacitive boxes as well and number, a number of other, other pieces of uh, test equipment. So let's have a look at this uh, resistance box and just see uh, how accurate it is today some 70 years after it was originally made and uh, we'll also have a look inside and just see how the parts have been put together and what, how, the, how the unit itself is manufactured. Okay, well, as the, the unit is now over 70 years old and has probably not been in use for some time, I'm going to take it apart, let you have a look inside, and then give some of the contacts a clean, and once we've done that, put it back together again, and then we'll give it a test. So let's take the unit apart. There's um, several screws at the top of the decade box. The casing itself is a metal case, but the front panel looks like it's a black Bakelite. Also the large uh, switch controls here are also made of black Bakelite. The uh, terminals, the screw terminals, have got brass connectors. Turn it round. There you can see inside the unit. I'll just remove the. That's the uh, the casing. It's just a uh, a simple metal casing. The unit is made up of uh, three switch mechanisms, as you can see here. They're quite heavy duty switches. Uh, very very well made and the resistor networks here are all wire wound and calibrated at manufacture and then sealed with a resin. The main connecting lead from the terminals is very very thick as you can see here. Okay, the contacts look a little bit dirty so I'm just going to clean the contacts here and then just check the switch mechanism. To do that I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol and uh, this is ideal for cleaning the switches. It doesn't leave any grease film afterwards when it evaporates. Remembering to clean the inner switch ring there on each of the switch mechanisms. So I'm just brushing some isopropyl alcohol on the switch contacts. and give them a, 
a wipe. Okay, they look much better. So I'll just put the unit back in its case. For the moment I'll just put two screws in just to hold it in place while we just uh, give it a test. Okay, we'll we'll give it a, a test now on the uh, meter and just uh, see how accurate the resistance ranges are. Okay, I have the uh, the unit now connected to the uh, Keithley 2000 multimeter, and uh, I have it on the ohms range. I'll just uh, filter the uh, the resistance of the meter leads out to get my starting zero. So there we have it now, so we're, we're uh, down at, all the switches now are at zero, so we should be reading zero ohms. So I'll increase the, the first one to one ohm. It's reading 0 0.9909 of an ohm. On the two ohm range it's reading 1.99. On the three, two 989, 9, 4, and so on. So even on the low ohm ranges, I'll take it round down to 9, it's reading uh, 8.9953, and on 10, we're reading 9.996, 6 of an ohm. So the, the unit reading seems to be fairly accurate. We'll check the tens. It's read, on the 10 it's reading uh, 9.996, on the 20 it's reading 19 point, well it's reading 20, it's flitting between the two, 19 point treble 96, on the 30 it's reading ex exactly 30 there, on the 40s it's spot on, 50, in fact anything above now I think it's reading It's really more or less spot on. Look, there, 100 ohms is 100.06. And we check the the hundred switch. The hundred ohm is reading 100 ohm. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 7, 8, 9, and a thousand ohms. So it seems to be still fairly accurate, the meter, certainly within its tolerance. When it was produced originally, I think it was guaranteed to have a tolerance of 0.1%, but I think it's a little bit better than that. And uh, to say it's 70 year old, it's still a reasonably accurate piece of uh, test equipment that you can use today. OK, I've just put it back on the 100 ohms range there and according to the meter it's reading 100.0778. Just to compare that with a resistance standard that I have, I have a, a little resistance standard unit here uh, which I've made up of uh, high precision resistors which have an accuracy of 0.005%. So if I connect that to the meter 
on the 100 ohms resistance. The meter's reading there 100.052 or thereabouts. So compared with the uh, Muirhead, the Muirhead is doing quite well really and uh, it's probably a lot better than what I thought it would be. Okay, so there you have the Muirhead D825G Decade Resistance Box. Nice unit and uh, this particular one I picked up on eBay for uh, quite a reasonable price. I think you can probably pick them up these days for around 20, 30, 40 pounds. So there you are. Hope they found that useful and uh, see you again next time.